Yeah, hello there. May. Angry doesn't describe it. Uh, so I saw the game between uh, Australia and Japan and, uh, you know. Man, what, what can you say? Graham Arnold, fail. FFA, fail. Everyone knew that we're not going to win against Japan. When I see the squad of 24, hardly no one from Europe. This coach, Graham Arnold, picks A-League players ahead of Europe. And I said it in the previous video, the gap between the A-League and Europe is that high. And our coach, Graham Arnold, believes that the A-League players are just as good as the ones in Europe. I haven't said it, Malaka. Channel 10 have said it, that the players are not good enough. The players here are not good enough. Japan ran rings around us. <laughs> they ran rings around us. I saw the game with Dion, and I saw it with Nick. Mate, they were speechless. They weren't impressed. And who can blame them? I expected it. I tried to absorb the game. I tried to study the game. Man, I can only laugh. I can, I can only laugh because Harold mentioned this maybe 10 years ago, 8 years ago, when Graham Arnold was reappointed for the second time. He was angry. So, here's the thing. <laughs> Let me gather my thoughts. They play a system, Japan, similar to what they do in Spain, a short passing game. They do a few long balls from the back to the front. But their long balls are not from one diagonal from the wing back to the opposite pocket, a long diagonal. Theirs is from the back line to a striker running through with the, with the, with the defender is on his shoulder. Mate, there were two posters that Japan hit. Lucky we didn't concede there. Anyway, they got what they deserved. They won by 2-0 away from home here in, in Sydney. And lucky we didn't concede even further goals. For me, let's go through the lineup. Here we go again. Just like the previous video. The goalkeeper. He's A grade, yes. Joel King at left back. Man, no experience. Not bad. We've got Degenek and, of course, Graham Arnold, the coach's son-in-law. God forbid we don't pick the son-in-law because he's family. We don't just pick our mates from the A-League. We have to pick family. And you've got the right back, Ryan Grant. These guys are A-League players. The middle, Yanni Stensness was good for his debut. Connor Metcalf, mate. You know, and he got a yellow card. When I see him pull a player from behind, that says to me, you're not capable at this level. You may be capable at A-League level. It's A-League. You have international level. There's a whole gap. And there's a level in the middle called Europe, Graham. You should pick players from Europe. Now, Harold mentioned it again from the previous video. There's a guy that plays in Scotland. No, there's a few, that one or two or three that play in Scotland. There's two or three that play in Croatia. We don't pick them. There's a midfielder, Volpato, that plays in Serie A in Italy. Mourinho coaches him. Mourinho picks him, but we don't pick him. Oh, oh. It doesn't matter. Mourinho's no one. Graham Arnold, who's, who's Jose Mourinho? Oh, he's no one. He's no one. He's just won a couple of titles. One title in, in Portugal, another in England, another whatever. He's won a Europa League title. It, it's just ridiculous, man. How can the FFA has, have to step in? And at the end, Simon Hill said it towards the end of the 80th minute. Is Graham Arnold under some pressure? Andy Harper, you should... Don't watch, if you're not watching this video, watch channel 10 on 10 plates free at the end. There's a disc, they've got Tara Rushton, they've got Mark Milligan, they've got Archie Thompson, and they've got Luke Wilkshire. When I was leaving, and I'm driving down Churchill Road, mate, you should hear the, you should hear the controversy on channel 10. How can they reappoint, this guy, this coach has to go now. Tara Rushton mentioned at the end, we now play United Arab Emirates. 
the, the game next Wednesday is a dead rubber. What's the point of watching? I'll watch it, but what? It's against Saudi Arabia. Win, lose, draw, 6-0. We lose 5-0, 4-3, whatever. We play United Arab Emirates at home and away. I'm telling you now, we won't get a result away from home. That if, they, if the FFA think that we'll defeat United Arab Emirates, what? With Mitchell Duke. Again, we'll go through, continue the lineup. I went down a tangent, sorry. Stesnes, Metcalf, you've got Mabu and Boyle. They're good. The wingers are good. That's it. Jamie McLaren was on the bench. I thought he wasn't available, man, because of whatever. You picked Mitchell Duke. Pick, pick McLaren at least. Mc, oh, Mitchell Duke. There's no other striker in Europe, man. It's just, it's the same 14. Come on, man. Come on, Coach Graham. What the fuck are you doing, man? Hey, he's getting these butanes. They've got no fuck, no freaking idea either. Dithelune, fuck, man. We're not good enough, whatever. What, because we don't watch enough soccer, you bitch? Mate, you won't find a better person than me, you fucking bitch. I'm the best. Anyway, it just... It just blows my mind, man. I just you, you can cry you can only laugh. You can't you can only laugh. And the way especially the first half is imprinted in my head. They've got these Japan have got these nice blue shirts. It's easy to follow the game. It's short. Very patient. Alright, they were above us on the ladder. They're not looking for a result, sort of. We were desperate for a result. They just slowed the game to their tempo. They did as they wish. And in the first half, they went down the right wing all the time. Now, I don't know. It was it an instruction from the Japanese coach to target our left side of defense? I don't know. Anyway, once they got down that right side near the corner flag, that was the end. They almost scored in the first half. In the second half, they weren't, Japan weren't going down our left side. It was more everywhere. The game was being more, everyone was tired. The, the surface was more slippery the second half than the first so you've got more wear and tear. I just... For me, Metcalf fail, Sainsbury fail, Joel King is a question mark at left back. Oh, what, Aziz Baich is not available. Uh, Jason Davidson is out of favour all of a sudden. He plays A-League. Uh, at right back, Fran Karazic... Not pick, they picked, so they got Ryan Grant. Ryan Grant, again, not bad. In the middle, the same as Peponi in AFL football. If you get beat in the middle, you ain't going to win. Mitchell Duke up forward is epic fail. Oh, he plays in the second division in Japan. Holy fuck, are you kidding me, man? What, we have to say thank you that he plays in Japan. Harold said it, man. He's not the only one. You have to play in Europe. Minimum. These are minimum requirements if you want to play for your international team. When If you play Nash international football, that means you must play in Europe. Minimum. Or in Asia, top flight, Japan, Korea. And we'll throw China in there because they're the biggest superpower now. And everyone's afraid of China. Oh, now, and I wonder if any of these Bhutanists even watch soccer in the series. Stupid scroffer. Just with their stupid dogs. and Some of them talk to their dogs. And they, <laughs> they won't talk to they, they see a guy invisible. Harold, you have got no idea what's invisible. One of them came with a dog. And she walked into, I, I'd parked my car and she walked into my driveway and passed. I said, sorry, she wouldn't even look. And then again, after I rolled down the window, sorry, nothing invisible. Like the Phantom, you know, Space Ghost, you, they press that button, zzz, invisible. Anyway, that's beside the point. For me, it's like the Socceroos were invisible. The FF, and then the subs that came on. Jimmy Jago, that's not the answer, man. I don't care if he's gone to Belgium, that's bullshit. These fuckers don't know who they're picking. He was in Greece, he went to Belgium. And what the hell did the Belgium scouts see in Greece? What, what did they, see? what, what, in God's name? Or I'm of Greek background, yes, but I'm sorry. Greeks are not meant to play soccer, man. Full stop, I don't care if they won the 2004 European Cup. Oh, I was there, I saw it. But it's just... The subs on the bench, Bruno Fornaroli is a good player, but he should have played from the start. Oh, he, 
he was match fit. Don't play. If we play Bruno, let him dictate. He'll hold up the ball. There were, we had better players on the bench than the starting eleven. Oh, just you know, why would you drop Jamie McLaren, man? You, you prefer Duke to McLaren. Melbourne City, and then there's this furor that Melbourne City wouldn't release their players. Sydney did, or it, it, it doesn't matter. They're saying that Curtis Good wasn't released. Curtis Good is a good player, but again, that's that's A League, and it's no disrespect to the A League players. They should not be picked. Maybe two, if you have a starting 11 that you want to build for a World Cup campaign, a squad of 18, a squad of 22, you can have no more than four players in that 22 from the A-League. And they have to be 18 or 19 years old where they become superstars that will go abroad in the next three or so years. The remaining 17 players should be from Europe! Motherfucking Europe, man! It's it's like our 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 international coach for Australia. No, no, the A League is just as good as Europe. This is A League. This is Europe. Nah, fata, Arnold, fata, mate. I just it blows my mind, man. You know how many how many are playing abroad? I mentioned in the previous video. Harold said, it. look it up. www.soccerway.com and you will, you, your mind will be blown how many players play abroad. A lot of Aussies play in the third division in England. Some in the second. Ones in the championship have to be looked at. The third division, forget it. So if you're just looking at England, the Premier League, Premier League, yes. Championship, yes. Beyond that, no. Third, fourth, divisions, fifth, conference. Forget it. No, no, no. We pick a striker from the second division in Japan. If it's from the first division, the Premier League in Japan, that's different. Top flight Japanese football, top flight Korean, top... Whatever. Yeah, just... Is there any Aussies playing in Spain? Nope. There was one Aussie playing Italy, but we don't pick him. We pretend... Our coach pretends that this youngster, 24-year-old player, I believe, does not exist. But he plays for Roma. He's a midfielder. Oh, I just get, let me get my thoughts together. I we see the rain. I thought I had this hopeful feeling that because it rained heavily, it would even out the playing field. Pardon the pun. No, it didn't. The result was never in doubt. Just because you throw a pebble in the water and it causes ripples in the way in the pond doesn't mean it will cause ripples in time. The same, the same outcome still came. If, so, if something is going down a path, even if you change that path, the path will redirect itself. So Japan were always going to win that game. We tried to attack, but when you have Duke, that's not the answer. The reason Japan didn't score even more goals, I see, what, I see why they'll never win a World Cup. Because when they cross balls in, they cross them high in the air. The way they exposed us a second goal, when they cross low balls below the kneecaps, below the knees, when it's a ground ball, that's when they cause havoc. The keeper is out of the equation and a lot of the tall defenders are out of the equation. When you cross balls, like in, in football manager, mix your crosses. But I just... Nah. Let's talk about the FFA again. What do do they want to make the World Cup or are they teasing us? And they say, I, oh, you know, you, Nick Harold, Dion, the other Nick, uh, expert up there, whatever, fuck it up there. Just, you know, man, like it's oh, I just it's it's just unbelievable, man. I, I don't know what to say. The FFA. Do you want Australia to progress? Obviously not. Do you have the guts to sack this coach? And then Channel 10 was saying, what other coach do you get? Goose Hitting did it in 2006. They got rid of Farina. They brought in Hitting. There were two legs. I think it was Uruguay. And they went into the World Cup. And gee, they almost... They only lost to Italy. 
and we were, they were a man down against us. I just, for me, I don't know. I, you got two legs against United Arab Emirates. For me, the equation is simple. Sack the coach now because you've got nothing to lose. FFA, you have the money. The Australian government must have given you two, three, four million dollars. Hell, the budget's coming out next week. It's six hundred and fifty billion dollars. Fifty billion dollars for fossil fuels. Fifty fifty billion dollars for health. I just give us some money for sport. Let's get a new coach, FFA. Get rid of Arnold. Do a press conference. We're sorry, Graham. Thank you for your time. And just <laughs> on your bike, son. See you later. Let's get a new coach, whoever, not from the A-League, they were mentioning Tony Popovich, that we don't want a dual role. Get someone from overseas who is completely impartial, completely neutral. None of this bullshit that we're picking our son-in-law, our daughter-in-law, our father-in-law, our motherfucking parents. Don't pick anyone you're related to, motherfucker. Do you understand? We get a new coach. We get through the two legs. Probably get two good results, home and away against the United Arab Emirates, UAE. Then if we go up against Uruguay, this international coach will have some experience. He'll be impartial. He will pick European players because he, the new coach that should come in, that the FFA should hire, will not pick from the A-League because he's not familiar with the A-League and we don't want to pick from the motherfucking Australian League. Pick from Europe. Get a European coach to pick European players if we want to play in a World Cup where there'll be top European countries in there. Man. I just, I don't understand. Uh, yeah. But sadly, our voices don't, they don't permeate. No one listens to no one cares. No one gives a shit. Channel 10 had it. Soccer, they gave it away to, ch to Channel 2 that would show games of 4.30 Saturday afternoon. That was it. Anyway, I'm not going to rubbish Channel 2. This super Channel 10 got it back. Whatever Channel 10 does. As for... You've got Australian rules football. you got cricket. I've got no... I've got no beef with Rugby League and Rugby Union. For me, they're not the enemy. The enemy is cricket. How's that? How's that, baby? That's out. Four, six. What a fucking boring sport, man. And Channel 7 shows women's cricket there at 7.30 Thursday night. Channel 7, you've got nothing better to do than to show women's cricket. You don't want soccer, eh? And there was a thing a year ago where Channel 7 wasn't happy with the cricket deal. You can't have your cake and eat it too, motherfuckers. You get what you deserve. I just, I don't know. I, I, man. Oh, oh God, I wish I could play. I wish I could coach. You know, I. What, what, what coach do you get now? What coach do you find? That's the thing, I mean, which coach is available? Say, there must be, get an Italian coach. Someone that doesn't speak as well good English or whatever. So you know he really is impartial. They need someone that is independent, is not influenced. Once the FFA hire him, this coach says to the FFA, motherfuckers, you ain't telling me what the fuck to do. I'm in charge, I run the boat, I control the boat, I am in charge of the steering wheel. You're not going to tell me who to pick. Not like at the, at the Crows where, they, where the selection criteria picks the team and not the coach. But anyway, that's for another day. A new coach has to be high. Graham Arnold has to get the sack. Now, he should have got the sack after the China game. Andy Harper said it. They drew with Oman. This is in the previous video anyway. They drew the, the China, they drew with China, they drew with Oman. 
And this thing with the COVID, they used tonight as excuse our Australia against Japan. Australia had players missing because of the COVID. Guess what, motherfucker Arnold? Against Oman, Oman had seven players missing with the COVID, but no one mentions that, eh? Australia. The soccer is. What a stupid name the soccer is. Just call them the Australian National Soccer Team. Just call them Australia, man. I don't see Japanese roos. I don't see Brazilian roos. Call them Australia. Don't call them soccer roos, man. Don't fuck. I hate that name, man. Soccer roos. It's shit. It's shit. Now, that's why they don't progress. You know what they said on 5RTI maybe 10 years ago? It, the, the fish smells from the head. I'm just so disappointed. Angry. What's the point? I'm grizzly. What do you do? Rip your hair out. Fucking take off your shirt. Run down the street naked. It makes no difference. No one gives a shit. Tonight, how many people saw this game on Channel 9? On Channel 10? Oh, Alos. Equitas a fucking basketball, man. Next door. Are you kidding me, man? This is the national team, man. Others are fucking probably watching. Bold and beautiful. Fuck knows what, man. Like, it's just no one... Man, Thursday, there shouldn't... Where did Thursday night? There shouldn't be not one car on the road. Everybody should have been watching this game. I'd love to know what the ratings were for this game. Three, four hundred... I'm hoping it's six or seven hundred thousand. If it's only two or three hundred thousand, I'll be very angry. Very disappointed. Because to be fair to Channel 10, they do market it. And for me, now I say it... And this thing where they criticise Paramount Plus... On 5AA in Adelaide, they were, they were complaining two weeks ago. I called through as well. Some motherfucker calls through at about 10.40 Monday morning on the pu our public holiday. He goes, oh, I can't find anything on Paramount. There's no schedule. You don't know who's playing. Oh, they wanker. Oh, they fuckhead. Channel 10 only shows the one game on Saturday night. That means if you do your mathematics, Paramount Plus show the remaining games on Paramount Plus on the streaming service. All you have to do is Google the schedule. You type in A-League in Google, wanker, whoever you were that called. Anyway, after I called, another guy called through, called George. And he said, Paramount is good because they show soccer, A-League, this, that, women's, Matilda's, soccer is. He said they show other television series as well. So you get your money's worth. It ain't Netflix. Man, if people are... If people are looking for streaming service to watch this and that, hey, just download from Internet Relay Chat. Then you don't need streaming service, but that's for another day. These guys are... And then 5AA. I spoke to Ken. He says to me, Zakynthos, are you happy with, the, with Paramount's coverage? I go, look, Channel 10 do a good job. You can't, I'm trying to say, you can't blame Paramount. Blame Channel 10. They only show one game Saturday night. I said to him, this is wishful thinking if they could show a game Friday night and they show a game Sunday night. So you've got three games. But no, just the one. Paramount do a good job. Their archive. This guy's complaint, like I said, they called through, I can't find it. I said to them on the radio, where it's got archived games on the stream, they do a one-minute video. And it's got that music. Dun, 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 You know, and it's just... God, I hope I don't get content ID matching for that, my little beat drum thing. <laughs> and it's one minute, it shows the schedule for the week. Now that might, that schedule can change because of COVID or whatever. Paramount can change it at the last minute for this to suit their needs. But Paramount stayed at the bottom, look up, look at the website, keepup.com.au. I went to it, KeepUp has all the scores in the world, Europe and Australia. Games that are played and games that are coming up. So, don't complain about Paramount Plus. They had a deal for one dollar for three months. So you see these idiots on Facebook. Yep, I'm going to pay for it just to watch that Halo or Star Trek or whatever. And I've watched Star Trek as well. And I've watched Mayor of Kingston. And I've watched, 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 watched. But soccer. How do we fix soccer? The international coach has to go. Sorry, your job is done. Thank you for your service. On your bike, son. Get the fuck out. Go. Fuck off. Get out. Take your son-in-law with you. And don't, don't, get, and don't let the door hit you on the way, way out, motherfuckers.
All right, bye-bye, everyone.